This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. Diagnosis of a periprosthetic joint infection remains difficult because of a lack of any definitive diagnostic tests. Surgeons often rely on the patient's clinical presentation as well as serum and synovial inflammatory biomarkers to confirm diagnosis. Current first-line testing biomarkers include serum erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, C-reactive protein, CRP, synovial white blood cell count, and polymorphonuclear percentage. In order to be effective, these diagnostic markers need to have low false positive rates. However, the sensitivity and other diagnostic measures of these tests, using a standardized definition of periprosthetic joint infection and the influence of infectious organisms on these inflammatory markers, remain inadequately investigated. A group of researchers from Thomas Jefferson University performed a study to determine how inflammatory biomarkers differed between certain groups of organisms. The team reviewed 653 cases of hip or knee total joint arthroplasty revision and examined lab values and culture results of 549 cases of periprosthetic joint infections. Results showed that lab values were highly dependent on the type of organism, with these values being generally lower in patients with coagulase-negative staphylococcus and culture-negative infections, and higher in patients with staphylococcus aureus and antibiotic-resistant infections. Considering that the sensitivity is low for certain organisms, the results indicated that surgeons should be cognizant that there may be a higher rate of false negatives with certain organisms. Thus, the results demonstrated that inflammatory biomarkers are influenced by the type of infectious organism. Additionally, surgeons should be aware that some low virulence organisms may not provoke an inflammatory response sufficient to raise lab values above existing cutoff values and therefore should consider the whole clinical picture when confirming diagnosis.